Yes, I know, I'm a little late, I apologize. Yes, of course. I have your tea. Well, most of your tea prepared. I have the cup. I don't remember how to... Oh, there we go. And your tea cup. So let's just fill that up for you. Yes, the water is warm. It shouldn't be hot. It should be a little bit warm. And I got your favorite tea. Yes, it's very noisy outside. I apologize. <coughs> yes. Well, they're constructing the new part of the barn today, so you know how the workers are so loud. Anyways, this is the tea you ordered from China. Oh, the smell. It just smells lovely, doesn't it? There we go. So now, I'm just going to take a little bit and put it in your tea cup. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. I was putting the extra. I know you don't like it very strong. Now, could I ask if you would like some honey or sugar? Honey? Okay. I have the honey that you requested the preserved honey or candied honey, whatever, whatever it was called. I know this was very expensive, so I won't use that much. There you go. Yes, the cook or chef, whatever you want to call them, told me to shake it up after every use. It's in a very cute little bear glass bottle. I'm just going to put that there for now. So today you do have a couple of, eve, a couple of events that you must go to. Uh, the first one is you have to go to court, not like you know, for any bad reason, but because you were requested to go. So I'm going to just lighten up your face a little and put a little powder on because it is very hot out and you might sweat and we know you don't want to look all sweaty for meeting everybody. But first, let me move your drink. There we go. <laughs> let it cool for a minute. Yes, my, my shirt is a bit too big, but that's okay. I'll either grow into it, or I can just hem it. I lost a lot more weight than I anticipated when I told the tailor what to do. <laughs> um, but I'll also be brushing out your hair today, just so it looks all lovely and beautiful. And I have the little baggie of items that you requested. They're all just rocks, but first we have this rock, which apparently was blessed by the Pope himself to give you healing, which you can wear if you'd like. However, I know you prefer much more lavish jewels. The cat is here, I apologize, I looked at him. But we also have a couple other, oops, missed one, a couple other rocks. This one I think is just gorgeous. Uh, as you can see, it's like a forest green color and it has sparkles in it. It's gorgeous. This is supposed to be healing. Let me put that next to you. Then we got rose quartz, which balance or something. I don't remember what that is for, but rose quartz is just lovely. This one might be jasper. I'm not sure, but. I like how it looks. <laughs> this one 
This one is another one that I have no clue what it could possibly be, but it is a whitish pink color, and it has very beautiful markings on it. I don't know if you can see. I know your eyesight isn't the be best now. Apparently my speaking is not. And then this one looks like a Dalmatian, so I thought it was cool. Just, um, it's a little bit yellowish, and generally Dalmatians aren't yellow with black spots. If they are, then there's something wrong with your dog. But yes, I got the little silk sack that you requested, uh, just to put these all in there. I know you wanted to take them to court today, so yes. You wanted to show off that you knew people in the mining business. Mm-hmm. Oh, almost forgot the necklace. Is this a gift for somebody? Ah, that makes sense then, because I know you prefer, like, pearls and diamonds, rubies and sapphires, in comparison to just rock. That, But that rock was blessed by the Pope, supposedly, so... I can kind of see why you'd like that one. So keep this on your belt today so you don't lose it. Because this was very expensive. I know you know that since you paid for it. But let's let's get to powdering your face. So I just have some powder. Just normal powder. In a little glass container. This is my own special blend. No mercury is in it, I don't think. We're not going to put too much on, we're going to put some on your forehead and just down your nose and maybe a little bit on your cheeks, but we're not sure yet. So, oh, let me put this down. I don't know what I was thinking, why I thought I could hold it. Okay. Um, okay, now. I blew some in your face. Yes, it did have a powder puff in there, but I prefer to use this brush because it's a lot less coverage. Down your nose. I think a touch on your chin. Maybe a little. put a little bit on your hairline as well, so then it just matched better. Your skin is not very pale. It's not notice noticeably pale, so don't worry. Yes. <laughs> this is very loud when it closes, I just remembered. There we go. Yes, there's no mercury in it. It's just a bunch of different powders from uh, flowers, I must say vegetables. <laughs> we have rose powder in there, and lavender, and then there's just a little bit of, well, you don't need to know my secrets. I don't want people to know them. Yeah, anyways. Let's brush up your hair. This is a comb sent from India to you. Of course, I don't know anyone in India. So, let's just start. Let me look. Okay, so. Sorry. My hand is right in your face. I am so sorry. Yes, I'm holding your head so I don't, like, knock it backwards in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Oops, and then I hit you in the head talking. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we 
go. Boop, boop. Okay, sorry. I couldn't help it. Um, oh, one moment. I forgot something very important. I will be right back. The cat took my seat while I was away, so now I'm sitting even closer to you. But I remember you said you wanted me to just quickly trim your bangs just a touch. So I got it. cat moved. He is going to jump up here and try and get the scissors. How did I know he's right next to you? Snip, snip, just kidding. I didn't cut your cat. He's eating. <laughs> That's strange. Okay. Perfect. So, I got your bag ready. And just please go have fun. Don't do anything stupid.